Board Game Casual presents five terrible game ideas. Did I say five? Because I'm giving you six. Kicking off the list at number six, I guess I'm doing this in countdown order for some reason, builds on possibly the most famous modern board game franchise of all time. I bring you Settlers of Bakersfield. It's like Settlers of Catan, but the twist is that building settlements and cities are only worth half as many points, and their value continues to drop over time. And ultimately, the goal is to get out of Bakersfield as quickly as possible. The map is mostly deserts. Who doesn't love engine building games? That's why I present to you Engine Builder, an engine building game about building engines. Playing a spark card becomes so rewarding when that spark can fire a cylinder, which pushes a piston that turns a crank, putting power to your transmission. Throw on a radiator and now your engine runs twice as efficiently. Adding more cylinders to your engine means more output, but it's going to require that you spend more oil to keep it from breaking down. And you're going to need a lot more fuel to power it. Holy crap, this is actually sounding like a decent game idea. Uh, the twist is that it's actually a roll and move game. There, I fixed it. If engine building games aren't your thing, then how about bag pulling? Here's bag pull, a bag pulling game. This game is literally just a box with one of those giant rolls of plastic bags from the produce aisle of the grocery store in it. And you just pull bags. What's the best part about the board game Caverna? That's right, the donkeys. And that's why Caverna fans will be head over heels for Caverna only donkeys. You may be thinking to yourself, wait, aren't gamers' favorite part about Caverna the sheep? Common misconception. In fact, most gamers are still scarred from playing Catan where no one wants your sheep. Caverna only donkeys focuses on what makes it great, the donkeys. Each box comes with three times as many donkeys as the original game. You may be thinking, oh, so that probably means it doesn't come with all the other stuff. But in fact, all the original stuff is still in the box too, but it now comes packed in these burlap sacks, which can be carried by the donkeys because that's what they do. Oh, and the donkeys can live in the caves now. This next one is a banger. Someone get Jamie Stagmeyer and Elizabeth Hargrave and Connie Vogelman on the line. I mean, I need everyone right now to at Jamie everywhere and blow up his feed because trust me, he'll want to hear this one. Jamie, Jameson, Mr. Stone, my, Mr. Stagmeyer. Here it is, the surefire hit you've been waiting for. Worms Pan. This game is all about card drafting, tableau building, and engine building, where you're playing as worms, trying to make the best stir fry. Worms pan. Worms pan. Worms pan. Speaking of surefire hits, I have saved the best for last. This game idea is poised to be one of the biggest games ever with a devout fan base singing its praises for years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Glue Maven. This game is a fantastical epic adventure where you're playing the role of a glue factory owner, trying to bring your adhesives to the masses and dominate the glue industry. Now to be fair, this game comes in a big box and with a pretty hefty price point, and therefore may feel a bit out of reach to many. But don't worry, there's also a slimmed down standalone version I'm pitching made specifically for the retail audience. Glue Maven Hooves of the Horses is positioned for mass release at a wallet friendly price point, welcoming new gamers into the Glue Maven universe. There you have it, six terrible board game pitches for the price of five. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get to my phone because I'm sure it's about to be ringing off the hook with publishers clamoring to sign these games. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.